so if you move back to England, do you think it's it's going to have to be an apartment, right? Or are you going to try to get a a house? I'm going to walk into the salty, briny ocean and f***ing <laughs> drown. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Green Crew. Now, guys, a lot's been going on this week, so not all at once. Tom, tell us what's what's on your mind. <clears throat> um, I mean, honestly, the fact that you became some kind of international rap star overnight. I did. I did. How's it feel? How's it feel knowing that your buddy is a, a hip hop icon now? I, dude, you know, not my kind of music. Don't care for it, but I play that bop on repeat just because it starts with you saying goddamn. You have to admit, you have to admit though, pretty catchy song. Pretty catchy song, and I did add to it. Did I not? I would say yes to both things. Thank you. That's all I wanted, dude. All right, for Don, have you heard it? <laughs> I have. We, we listened to it together. There you go. And you know what? We it's also, not me just saying goddamn. Also... It's me all on the song, dude. I'm all over that bitch. We also listen yeah. to your. They keep uh, taking and taking. Oh yeah, was it was that Rice Pirates line or that was your line? That was my line. Fake fan, right. fake fan. Right. Yeah. yeah, fake fan. Yeah, sorry. Yep. Well, you know who else is a fake fan? Who's that? A Flash gets. Mister Hun Hunter Hancock, aka Me Canyon. I'm and a Tom fake fan. I, How's that? Tom and I listen to your song and they're like oh cool Hunter did a uh, video about it and then we watched the video and you gave a bunch of other animators a shout out How, what, who like who like like all of them <laughs> like, what are you talking about <laughs> I, I, did, oh, I during the meme uh, part I see yeah when I said that I was, I, I was I, waiting I for right. racist Mario to show up but that's fine. Honestly, I you don't know you want to know something fucked up is that whenever I was uh, a younger man and I liked your guys' stuff, I really did not I like I didn't know about racist Mario or about like almost any of them until it was literally combo break or it was the uh, show quest that got me hooked. That was the, that was the, when I got absolutely hooked, and then it was the Apex Legends tune. Oh uh, yeah, uh, and that kind of stuff. Little little white guy, yeah. So it was a little, uh, these were just the, the little cultural things I was just thinking in the moment. I'm sorry. I should have done it. I should have said something in there and I didn't. And I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? I'll admit it. I'm wrong. No, I'll admit when I'm wrong. It's okay. I think we can all come back from this. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope our friendship can still last through, through these I trials. Know. I don't know, dude. Yeah. All right, man. We'll come see. on. We'll see if I can, we'll see if I can heal. Okay. All right. Well, this is. He he might have he might have hit us up next for the next song, you know. He might have put in. Uh, hey, I'm sorry that you selfishly couldn't get anything gained from the situation that doesn't involve you, dude. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he might he might have used the bullet bill joke. Oh, that, that would have cool. been sick. That would have been sweet. Yeah. That's all right, dude. Mr. Lamar is probably on it. He's probably going to feature uh, something from Transformers. I don't see why not. Or one of our He-Man cartoons. I don't see why not. Which, yeah, what, uh, if you could have a rapper sample another cartoon, Hunter, what, what clip would you pick? I think what would go from my stuff or from your guys' stuff? From, from your stuff. Your stuff. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think the, uh, the instant renegade. <laughs> it could be either, I guess. Go ahead. <laughs> um, you know what I? You know what I would do? I would do your guys's. Yeah, no. I would do you guys's uh, Tiger King parody, and I would do uh, the Tiger King. Yeah, of course. <laughs> why? Why, why? 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 Of course. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I just think it's. I just think it's good. I just think it's good. Yeah. yeah. Was is that there was a cartoon a cultural icon of a cartoon? I think is so. Is there a cartoon of yours that you would have preferred him to do? Nah, man. That's cool. I think what oh, I think. Whatever. Someone's worried about Mr. Cole listening to this and getting offended. <laughs> yeah. I really wish coward. you would have done this. No, I don't give a shit. Whatever he wants to you. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Anybody. Oh, I've heard people Mr. I've heard Cole. people sample my voice and stuff before and I like it. 
I think it's cool. Oh, is this not the first time? No, it's been. This is the biggest artist for sure, but there's been other people for sure. <laughs> Who's the second biggest? God, dude, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You've got yeah, you do, you fucking liar. Um, probably <laughs> Sabaton. Sabaton used one of my. No fucking way. Yeah. How did we never talk use? about that? Yeah, why didn't you share that? That's Tom, sweet. Tom's one who you brought it to me, Tom, a while back. No, I didn't. It's probably two years ago. What the fuck are you talking about? I hate Sabaton. Wow. Well, you're the one. I could have swore you were the one person who'd say it, so I never really talked about it. What? What was? What did they do? Give us some more info. Let me see the song. Should have been something from their 2021 album. <laughs> you got cancer, Woody. I guess you. Okay, first off, dude, that's fucking rude because <laughs> you're trying to hurt me. And I don't. You know what, dude? Oh, it's not Woody. You know what, man? Eddie? I honestly think that. I think that you're trying to you're you're making fun of the stuff I've made, and you know what? That's how I pay my bills, dude. What? No, I'm not. I put a lot of fucking I put a I lot of love, love and that effort. Cartoon. No, no, no. I put a lot of love and effort into what I do. All right. So the I'm sorry, man. It would be funny no, for them you to know do what, something man? completely no. not relevant to their music. Yeah, that was the no, joke. No, I it don't wasn't that that mm. cartoon's not a good cartoon. Okay, it's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. What does Sabaton do? The it's from the album "The War to End All Wars," and it's the uh, song "Hellfighters." They sample my railroad cartoon. That's crazy. So there you go. Sabaton. That's where probably, is it, probably where the is second. It sampled? I want to hear it. The Hellfighters song. So probably because the viewers are, um, you know, as much in the dark about J. Cole as I was. He has, you may, maybe you do know his name. You may not know his name, but he has billions of streams. Billions. So he's a big artist. And uh, he sampled one of Hunter's. I'm on it, dude. One of Hunter's cartoons. And it was sweet. Apparently he apologized for dissing Kendrick Lamar. So now it's, I can't even fucking like, I can't brag about it because everyone's like, J. Cole, he fucking, he sold out or whatever. I don't know what the fuck it is. But. We're like J. Cock. That's, that's good. That's probably true. People will say that. More like Jay Cock. Jay Cock. All right. Let's get this actually on the roll road here. Don, you had some very controversial things to say earlier. Go ahead and say them now. Uh, what was I talking about again? Help me out. Remind me of the oh, bad that, things that I said. You pants. can't fucking that do that. That's bullshit. That was sick. <laughs> you that's that's so fucked. Also, it's not <laughs> slick. Don't, uh, what the fuck do you mean? Oh man, my fuck! It. <laughs> wow, you just Tom's you absolutely served it. I appreciate it a we, lot. We've had Thanks, here. Buddy. How about this? I love you. How about this? I've actually I I've drank half of this. I will say this is my my gamer stuff. Oh, I will I want to say this actually real quick because I very rarely you guys don't ever you guys promote a bunch of shit. I'm gonna finally promote something for myself here on the show. My raw meat, my gamer <laughs> subs flavor is out. Please gra grab it. It's very, very good. And my shaker is not out yet, but this is the shaker, and I did the art on the back. And let me tell you, uh, I have a white Russian here, and I'm getting kind of a little bit drunky. A white Russian mixed with raw meat, right? Your new flavor. Yes. Uh, my heart is <laughs> bouncing out of my chest because it's, it's full of caffeine and alcohol. It's a depressant and a... Um, stimulant. And a stimulant. There, thank you. I, I would have said accelerant. That sounds way cooler. It does, doesn't it? I was kind of thinking about it. I'm like, well, why, is, why isn't it called that? It's fucking be sweet. Oh, my God. Accelerant, baby. All right. I just want to say that the Sabaton thing actually didn't happen. So, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was I was getting annoyed clicking through the song. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, that, that's that. not that's not real. And honestly, I wanted mm -hmm. to. I'm trying to breach this thing of trust with us, so I wanted to say it now versus later. Mm -hmm. I thought that was nice of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> nice chat. Uh, the so the we, we, we've been we've been having a lot of new shorts coming out here. A lot of vertical stuff that are very very funny from a new editor we have so be on the lookout for those but i will say did we've i've actually been like narcissistically re-listening to these episodes these are good episodes as of late it's getting ready to yeah something in the air somebody know? also said off of one of the episodes i thought it was fucked someone said that the uh show is cyclical <laughs> just, i saw just, that i, saw, I, I saw saw that that was yeah, like I knew you were excited for a comeback excited for a comeback something else hunter's a dick <laughs> 
like burnout <laughs> at the end of the show. So I want to say, what the fuck is the hunters the dick part? What, ha, have I been a dick lately? I don't think I've no, been a dick. I think that was that was on the one where you just you steamrolled Tom trying to say a knight could beat a samurai. <laughs> <laughs> that was you being a dick. Oh, uh, well, Acura, I, you know, I feel like I wasn't really heard. My points weren't really respected. I, you know what? I honestly, was literally I, thinking about it in the that shower. Was, that a was lot. that was one of the actually. Uh, that was one of the few times where I could tell that I was like, "This actually, this is hurt, Tom." Tom Tom is hurt. I I, I could tell I could tell that I could tell that you you're I could tell that you were absolutely like like your worldview was getting co like completely destroyed. No, that's not it. My worldview is as strong as ever. It mm. was that you you will not listen to reason. How? I thought I brought up a lot of good points. Isn't uh isn't samurai armor made of like leather? Oh, definitely. Like I, no, no, no. The, the, the thing wild. is, is that the thing is, I'm saying that the samurai. I'm not gonna get. We're not gonna go back into this again. I was just saying. The, the, the thing about it is Round that two, they're, they're so on. they're so fast. They're so much more mobile that they'd be able to just like stab into the. Ah, uh, it's a myth, into the parts. Dude. Okay. Well, you know what? You know, what I bet there is. I wonder if there's like an episode of uh, Deadliest Warrior. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's one. Oh, that fucking shit. I love that show. I don't care what anybody says. My favorite, my favorite one was uh, Chicago mobsters versus Indians, and I was like, "What kind of unfair bullshit?" They're like, they're "Like, okay, so it's the precision of an arrow." And I'm like, "He has a Tommy gun." They're like, "Well, it's not that accurate." I'm like, "It's a gun. It is a machine gun, dude. Yeah, they they're in a car. The they're in a they fucking always... Model T car. Yes, they are going to win." Yeah, so the mobsters would would race across the plains and try and gun down the Indians. But uh, I think dude, their I love car might get stuck on a log. I fucking love that show. I loved, dude. I watched that shit like so analytically too back in the day. I'd like look at it, and be like, I watched "That's fair. Them. That's fair. That's a good point." Yeah, you know. But what? I good love point. at the end when they're like, "Well, who would win?" And they do the enact like reenactment <laughs> if they fought. How awesome is that? They had Chicago no, mobsters dude, fight a Native it, American man. It, <laughs> like, it destroys the legitimacy of the whole thing. It's, oh, it's no. like you feel like, but that's the thing. You that, feel like, oh, this yeah. is, this is kind of cool. They're it like sends it over the. Edge, but, but though, dude. like this, the, like the scientist guy and that dickhead, that generic looking dickhead, they go to like a computer. <laughs> the the C like, list, right, let's run the, the simulation, the C list, and you see like Buster. Matrix code. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Form the guy in an environment. It's, it's just a fucking like it's perfect Freddy trash Wong TV video co-pilot video of a, <laughs> a pirate versus a ninja. I don't give you a know? fuck what anybody says, dude. If you have one of those, if you have a show, and I think you guys will agree with me on this, if you have a show and you have that gelatin humanoid thing that if you stab it bleeds and it has like a skull and you can crack it and then like mm -hmm. use their weapons to attack that i'm almost yeah, that's, 100 percent going to watch the show that's sick yeah it's so and good they, they, they measure they, they do like measurements and it seems legit it's like okay we're <laughs> yeah. actually whatever we're kind of like seriously. made up ripley's believe it or not fucking like measurements they're doing dude <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking stupid all right let me uh put this into the, the system and let's run this simulation <laughs> Well, it put, what it is is it passes your your thirteen year old level of scrutiny. My, as like my thirty, my legit. my forty two year old level of scrutiny. Yeah, <laughs> it is, it's perfect. It's perfect trash TV. It really is. It's perfect because it kind of touches on. It scratches my same, but my brain the same way that a thousand ways to die scratches my brain. Oh, that was so funny. What uh, the fuck is that? You never they, see, see they, a thousand ways to die. It's just literally yeah. them reporting different ways, different weird ways people have died. People have but what's died, funny whatever. is they they always just like a reenactment. break their backs bending over backwards to make the person that died seem like a dickhead. Yeah, always because you don't want to like be like oh you know because you're like yeah, you want to <laughs> laugh at them. It's, it's the biggest so this, thing. There's, there's one where like a woman gets like killed by an elevator or something. Yeah, but she and, and but she closed she, the door she, on somebody she, right before that, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck that bitch. <laughs> she was a real. The whole office thought she was a real. <laughs> yeah, John Wheels. Everyone thought, <laughs> thought she was everyone a real. She, everyone thought she was a real V8 engine of a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, the, I always loved. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure they had the fucking guy. What's his name? The guy who was Hellboy, the original Hellboy, whatever. Who the Ron fuck Perlman. is Ron yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Ron <clears throat> Perlman is the narrator. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's awesome. Which also, yeah, Ron Perlman has looked the exact same for forty-five years. It's unbelievable. He looks great. Yeah, you just—he's in a secret, man. Just start old. Start looking old. That's what you have to. That's age. what I'm saying, though. You start. That's why it's like, dude, 
These guys who are like, oh, yeah, he looks so old when he's younger. Dude, those are exactly the guys who age gracefully. If anything, there's like, I'd, I'd rather look old than young. Well, that's eminently possible with your lifestyle. No, no, no. Okay. Well, for, okay, dude. What? <laughs> hey, come on, man. Come on, man. I'm so sorry. This is this is a this is a cron this is a camaraderie episode, and you're already you're you're, you're throwing a wrench. It's in the true. I took a shot. I did want to say that Ron Perlman in uh, in Blade Two. What a role! Oh, so <coughs> tiny glasses, Morpheus glasses. Mm. So good. Blade Two rules, dude. Blade Two is by far the best of the initial run with Wesley Snipes. See, that's what I thought too, and then we watched it after watching Blade One, and do you know what? I feel like it drags. Oh, you like you like Blade One better? The only thing I like about Blade One more is the the big fat vampire guy in that computer room. <laughs> Dude, that, that 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 fucking rules. He's like eh. with the, the squeaky voice for no yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it works. Uh -huh. It works really well. Yeah, I don't know. Who I didn't like though was uh, Frost as the main bad guy at the end. He is just such a douche. It's like does it doesn't work for me as well as the 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 main antagonist. In the second film, I think that guy rules. Oh, what's his name? Like fucking. Oh, I, 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 I couldn't tell you. I, mean, I couldn't tell you the name. I don't even remember. My mouth splits in two. Yeah, but it works, dude. Oh, it that's works. Thing. That's that right. guy, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that guy does all of his own stunts and stuff. He was in. No one ever talks mm. about uh, Hellboy and the Golden Army or whatever the fuck the yeah, sequel he was, the, was. He was the dark elf. Yeah, he was. A, he ruled in that too. He, he was fucking yeah, great. That was cool. Yeah, I tried watching that. Hellboy. I liked that movie when I was a kid. It probably didn't hold up. Did you ever? Probably yeah, it, probably, it, it does. Definitely, the first one is amazing. Still, I can still watch the first one, like without a doubt. It's fucking great. But the second one, I haven't seen it. You know, what? I'm gonna. I'll watch that today. Oh, is it, it's gonna be. It's, it'll be a good watch. This episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Did you know one man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? In fact, testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer amongst men aged 15 to 35. With April being National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, our dear friends over at Manscaped have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to help spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Visit manscaped.com forward slash TCS to learn how to check yourself for early signs of cancer. And as always, you can use promo code CREAMCREW for 20% off and free shipping over at manscaped.com. I wanted to take a few seconds to talk to you about some men's health problems that are important to me as an owner of testicles. Yes, that's right, multiple. Men's health and cancer prevention screening is, well, particularly applicable to the most male audience of all time, which is you guys. Uh, fucking God bless. I wouldn't have it any other way, but we gotta make sure that none of you die. That's quite important. With this in mind, you can perform simple routine self-checks at home while enjoying Manscaped products you use every day. Like the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra. It makes sense, right? We use products daily to maintain and trim our boys down there. I know I do. I like it to be smooth as butter. The Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra features two interchangeable skin-safe blade heads. A standard one for taking a little off the top and a new foil blade to go smooth and sleek. With dual LED spotlights, you'll achieve better visibility, making every trim more precise. Don't like making a mess? What are you, silly? This thing's waterproof. Use it in the shower, use it in the bath, use it at your wedding, or even use it in the ocean. And that little tortoise can wear your pubic hair as a hat to stay warm when the cold currents come in during winter. And you can bring this trimmer with you wherever you go due to its wireless charging capabilities and travel lock feature. In addition to providing the right tools for comfortable and easy grooming, Manscaped is committed to raising awareness and giving support to fighters, survivors, and families impacted by testicular cancer. That is why they will be donating $50,000 to the Testicular Cancer Society, which is, you know, genuinely very nice of them. Help save lives, but more importantly, bulls, by going over to manscaped.com forward slash TCS and sharing their funny yet educational check yourself video. And while you're at it, grab 20% off plus free shipping with code CREAMCREW. Because like a famous American philosopher once said, take care of your chicken, your balls, and your mentals. God bless. Did you guys ever watch the 2018 or 2019 Hellboy with that Stranger Things actor as Hellboy? No, I thought, I remember thinking, like, the very first preview looked sick, but the more I saw of it, the worse it looked. Oh, I dude, guess it, it was sucked. terrible. It was so bad. Yeah. Like, not only was the story beats really bad, but it was, like, just this gross CG mess. Like, the CG was really, mm -hmm. really bad. It's a bummer, because I think the Hellboy looked good. Like, I think he yeah, looked he was solid. Like, 
Yeah, but, he was basically the perfect actor for him, like a, like a modern, not old guy. You know, I still think like, Ron Perlman as awesome. Hellboy worked well. Like I think it looked it, to me, it looked more like Mike Magnola's drawing of what it was because they made <clears throat> they made the 2019 version of Hellboy like way too like cheeky, like way too demonic looking. I think that's pretty sweet. I mean, it looks cool. I'm just mean, like in terms of source. Stuff. Maybe, maybe, maybe just in that frame. Maybe we'll yeah. film in the rest of the movie. I still think yeah, it looked good. I, just, I, of... I, I love Ron Perlman's version. That dude, mm-hmm. that first Hellboy movie. Did I ever tell you? I saw that movie like five times in theaters. Four times with my dad, and he was drunk and passed out each time. I had to wake him up at the end of the movie each time. I'm amazed he like was willing to take you that many times. Yeah, he was like, "Oh, yeah, we can go." Yeah, I thought that was sick. <laughs> I love that huh. movie. I don't know why. I love the guy. He like turns the little piece on his chest and his like his uh, blood is sand. Or like when you stab him, sand comes out of his body. The Nazi ninja guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's yeah, like supposed to be Rasputin, I think, or something. It's like fucking weird. It's like I thought the he was Ras. I thought his handler, like the main bad. No, guy was no, Rasputin. no. I don't think I, he looks like Rasputin, but I'm pretty sure they were alluding to. They were alluding to the guy who was like the ninja dude that had the blades as being Rasputin, at least. Because they list off like mm. all the things they did to try to kill him and he wouldn't die. And to me, that red is like a Rasputin nod. Mm. That movie, God, dude, that movie rules. They go to that fucking old like German graveyard and pick out that head. And they carry the head around. Yeah, that? that's right. Yeah. yeah, that movie rules. Really good. Good stuff, yeah. man. Yeah, he was, I guess, Ron Perlman was better, but I still thought he looked cool in that new one. Yeah, bad, yeah, so. no, I don't think he looked bad. I'm just saying, like, in terms of, like, yeah. the comic, I'm like, they, I feel like they got the shape language of everything better on Perlman. Mm-hmm. Also, Perlman just has a better voice. Mm-hmm. Way stronger, f- way way more fun of a voice. What, have you, what, what else have like you guys been cat. up to? He looks like a cat. Huh? You guys are writing episode two right now of Space King. Yeah. Of Space King. Space King. It's pretty sweet. Yes, I yes. think it's going to be better than the first one. I'm saying it right now. Uh, you told me he, They told me a little bit about, about the premise of it, and I will say it's very funny. I'm stoked on it. I think it's just it's doing a lot more. It's a, it's um now, now that we've kind of established what it's going to be. It's, well, dude, you guys is you guys crushed the pilot, so everybody knows about the universe now. So now it's just a matter of just being like, now that you Let's don't you fun. don't you don't have to establish anything, you just run free. You know what I mean? I kind of weird. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like well, we're trying to have it where you don't need to watch the first episode to go into the second one and stuff, and that's no, no, really no. the tough I, part. I, I'm not saying that you have you don't have to do that. I'm just saying that like with the pilot. It's just like being like, hey, this idea is out there and you kind of have to have a little bit of like world buildy shit. You know what I mean? I think that you could watch the second one and not even have to have watched the first one. But I just think it's it's good to have that pilot episode have that kind of stuff is what I mean. It's quite it's quite freeing because it's like like, yeah, the second episode has to be better than the first. And it's almost as important as the first. But it's like liberating to have all of that groundwork just done. And the other thing is like, uh, I, don't, I don't know if this kind of thing's boring for people to hear, but like with the nature of the show and how it's all built, because it's like characters in those suits of armor and there's like a billion different legions, it's really easy to like, r- like make new armies and shit without having to do a shit ton of work. So yeah. you can almost like hop right back in um, a lot quicker. So it's pretty exciting. Gives you all the freedom. Just have to write the script first. Or say that again. Just have to write a script first. Yeah, it's I, mean, been a while. I know it's a, I know it's a fucking headache, but you guys will get it. It'll be mm-hmm. liberating too to be like you can put world building in wherever you want. You know what I mean? Like if you want to have something mm-hmm. where it's like, hey, let's like really invest some time. I think that too will get people really hooked. I think, I think people like whenever you guys, because you've told me about a bunch of stuff. Like whenever you guys do explore some of these like big world buildy you know, really like trying to tell people about this universe stuff. I think that's going to be fucking awesome too. People are going to be really stoked. Yeah. And no, I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's also made me think like, I don't know the kind of goal here, at least in my mind is that we build up to doing more original series on the channel mm. and like, 
Man, there is so much. Uh, there's so many Motor Knight scripts written. I mean, you guys that, should just like, fucking make it, man. I mean, I also, mean, uh, yeah, I want to say your guys' support on your Patreon is insane. Like, really, that's such a huge congrats there. That's fucking insane. Oh, yeah, it's thanks, been, man. It's, it's worth noting, though, that, like, Patreon ch- made that change where members now don't have to be paid. So it looks like we've got 40,000 members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I know. But it's like you can just, like, that's follow. Not, yeah. You can just follow yeah. it, whatever. But still, it's the thing of, like, also... To clarify, too, all of that shit gets, like, reinvested back in. So it's, like, as many people sign up, it's, like, really, at least, I know you probably guys probably feel the same way with your own Patreon is, like, you probably probably pay yourself from ads and AdSense, but all the Patreon stuff is, like, strictly budgetary for the actual means of production. And to see that level of support is just fucking cool. Like, and I, I, and also, too, I've seen some of the stuff you guys do for your patrons and stuff. It's just really cool. Like, I think it's worth it. Yeah, no, people seem to be liking it. You can tell, obviously, if how things something's going, whether how many people drop off a month. Sure. It's, it's, there's not really mm. been any drop offs, you know? So people are liking the content, but yeah, it's. Just uh, get the second episode out. <clears throat> Work it at it. Work it at it. I'm stoked to get my my t shirt and hoodie in. I, 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 oh, I, you I, got I can't it. wait. You got a set. I did. Oh yeah, that's Sweet um dude, those you. sold really well too, man. People are just fucking mm-hmm. vibing with the universe. It's good. And the more that you do it, the more you do it, the better it's gonna be. Yeah. I want vinyl figures so bad. And action figures. Ugh. Action figures. Yeah. Oh, collector oh, six. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. What about you, sir? What's been going on in your world? Filmed a little live action horror thing. Did a, uh, been grinding Ooh. on the Papa Meat channel. It's been really fun. I really enjoy doing the Papa Meat stuff. It's very, very fun. Got a lot of cool ideas there. Uh, almost done with the second Melvin script or the next Melvin script, I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, stoked on that and just kind of making a Any bunch of stuff. Cheeky peeky of what the next Melvin's about? Yeah, it's about a Melvin is walking out of his apartment and there's this old woman that lives next to him. And she has a heart attack. And he like he's like, oh, my God. Takes her to the hospital. And the doctor tells him, he's like, hey, she's going to die. It's just her time. It's been a long time. And the woman is very at peace with it. She's like, you know, I've been alive this long. I don't have any kids. And my husband died 20 years ago. I just, I'm ready to go. It's my time. I'm at peace. If you could do me any favors, could you just stay here with me so I have someone? And Melvin says, absolutely. While she is sleeping or unconscious or whatever melvin sitting in the chair kind of like sleeping and then these two angels come in and wakes melvin up and the angels are like you know they're very frat bro bro-ish they're just like oh well, you know fuck last stop of the day and they are looking at it and they look in their bags and like fuck man we have too many souls he's like fuck it we'll just send her to hell and melvin's like no you know no 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 don't send her to hell but they already write the 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 they like let the thing go so demons are coming so basically the episode is like Melvin has to wait for the angels to come back to take the wo- the woman's soul to heaven or else she's just going to go to hell. So he's like fending off demons from taking her soul to hell, basically. And we're going to do like a fun like Evil Dead kind of homage stuff of like having people on the floor, like a kid with cancer. It's like a hospice floor, so everyone's dying on the floor, but this demon keeps like possessing people and doing fucked up shit. So it should be pretty fun. That sounds fucking yeah. sweet. I yeah. was immediately on board. Sweet. Yeah, such was, a strong concept. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. I was stoked on that one. I think the problem with the Melvin stuff right now is that it's too cute at times. I think the first episode it was like a fun dark mix with like a good monster and stuff. The second one was just funny. It was like a really, in my opinion, I thought it was a funny one. And then the third one, I think we just kind of like missed the mark a bit, which is why it didn't do as well. Um, of I think it was just like. It didn't. It didn't push the horror aspect of it. So I think with this one, I'm really gonna try to like do some crazy dark stuff and like make it like as if it's as dark as like a Meat Canyon parody thing. So that's kind of the goal right now, and that's kind of the objective of like let's keep it funny and fun, but let's like really try to push some of the crazy shit that we want to do um, with that. We have a new tune coming out this Sunday. Um, it'll be out by the time this episode, or I guess it'll come out the same day as the episode. Um, but that, that'll be fun too. And yeah, just doing some stuff. The biggest thing I have right now that I think is I'm the most stoked on is we're building this like eight foot tall puppet that's going to sit in a, fuck. 
It's going to sit in a twin size bed. And I think that like, I'm going to try to do this thing to try to keep doing original horror stories and just to kind of keep writing is uh, the, the stories will be animated, but it's like, how would you tell a night a bedtime story to a monster? And like the puppets are going to be these big monsters. So <laughs> then it's like, we tell horror stories to them to get them to go to bed. So then that way it's like, it can be like, that sucked. Or just be like, you'd be sleeping at the end. But like, we're building our new sets now for this room and stuff. And we're trying to do it to where like the heads can be interchanged and like the legs and stuff. So it looks like a different monster each time. I think it'd be kind of cool. So we're kind of working on that too. That's like a big thing that we're trying to get out by like July is when I think we're going to try to do that. Yeah, that's awesome. So those would be second channel things like cartoons? That no, are no, no. I think that's going to be main channel stuff. I think I'm going to try oh, to. Okay. I'm, I'm like in this place where I'm like, <clears throat> I feel like I could be making a lot more transparently, a lot more revenue on Meat Canyon if I did live action longer stuff and like to try to like not be so confined to the, the cartoon stuff. But I think always having mm -hmm. it be implemented, cartoons implemented in the content, I think would be fun. But I just, I just think it'd be a fun evolutionary step of like doing this like weird puppeteer practical effect horror thing and trying to like introduce more content to where you're not so just like not so constrained to cartoons because I like making all kinds of shit. So mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Like it's just it's kind of like the second channel is doing well and um, we're just trying to just trying to figure out more shit to do. The more that I actually try stuff and make stuff too, the more I realize how weak I am in so many other areas. So now it just becomes a thing of like, well, let's just, let's make stuff and get better at doing shit has become the, the kind of, uh, grounds, the base level thing for everything. It's really cool. Well, man. Living the dream. Just getting to make all kinds of stuff, you know, instead of just cartoons. The diversification is, uh, yeah, really, I'd like really to make, sweet. The thing, too, is really I like inspiring. I like doing funny stuff. I like making weird, funny stuff and everything, but I'd like to make legitimately, like, a weird, creepy horror film would be fun. Not necessarily animation, but, like, live action, but even on the shoot that we just did, it's yeah, just, like, it's about? just such another beast. Out? Yeah, I'm Can doing a video on Nightmares. I wanted to do this uh, pop meat video on nightmares, and the idea is like I'm I walk up to Winslow, my uh, computer puppet, and I'm like, "Hey man, how you doing?" He's like, "Oh, you look like shit. You look really." He's like, "Oh, I'm like, yeah, I'm really tired. I keep tossing and turning. It's like I keep having this nightmare, the same nightmare, and then it cuts to this like very cinematic retelling of my dream. But it's not like I'm like narrating it. It just kind of like is my dream, and on the peak of the uh, action, it cuts back, and I'm like, "Yeah," and I just wake up or whatever. So I'm trying to do these like. 60 to 120 second like vignettes like a minute to two minute long vignettes um in these videos to just kind of like just try some filmmaking stuff and just try to like some higher production value stuff like the the prop we have is a lot of fun and so just trying some new shit yeah that winslow thing is awesome yeah I love have you winslow. have you actually debuted him in another video yet yeah or he's been he's been first? in like th i think he's been three or four videos Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw the Patreon one with <laughs> Nick. Oh, yeah, no, he's been in live videos, and he's been in, mm -hmm. yeah, a bunch of stuff. People really like him. It's just a matter of, it's like a weird balance of, I just don't want to overuse him. Yeah. To where people are get, get tired of him. So just, mm -hmm. uh, so we've been playing around with that, but we're, we're going to have more puppets and all kinds of stuff. We're building three more sets right now, so it's like. Just trying to mix mix and match stuff and build this like fun little house. You got a house going kind of thing. <clears throat> of different sets. Yep. <clears throat> That's we're, what I got uh, going. We're gonna be getting big brain going again in a few weeks, hopefully. Yeah, I was gonna say with you moving and stuff, are you guys just gonna do, like have your own green screen thing basically? You just sit on your own yeah. sides? The property I bought has a second like barn thing that I'll just build the green screen in and put my office in there. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but we have to shoot a bunch of episodes to have a backlog before I move so we can start posting again if I can get it together. I'm just like, I've been uh, bogged down trying to get the right audio equipment. It's a giant pain in the ass. Like yeah. all the, the, the right mics for the right kind of thing. It's so specialized. It's just like such a dumb wait time for everything and you need all these specific parts. So... Has like the shotgun yeah. mic thing that have you been using? Has it 
that just not been working as well? It's hard to treat a room properly that's a massive green screen like that. So I want to switch to um, miking the helmets themselves. But yeah, it's just been uh, more complicated than it seems like it should be. So hmm. yeah, that's where we're at with that. But that'll be exciting to get back to that and making also making more than just cartoons again and expanding. Yeah, building Not cool stuff real. and yeah. That's um, that's been a that's been about it for us this week though. When are you uh? When are you leaving? When are you like actually gone? Uh, next in a week. So not next week. The week after that, I'm moving, and that's gonna be fucked for me. Like tearing everything down, and yeah, that's gonna be uh, the end of the house studio. Finally, that's end cool though, man. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. For sure it's it's kind of sad though you know like um gonna have to uh tear down the the green screen set which of course was the cream crew set two years ago oh yes you know? yeah let's start to turn this place back into a house for when we leave <clears throat> you'll be gone you'll be gone and tom you'll be you'll be without dawn how's it feel I feel like uh, it will change almost nothing. <laughs> That's not true. There you go. I think we see each other to. like once a month. You should have invited me to see Dune 2 with you, you dickhead. That is true. You should have invited him. You know, it was a spur of the moment thing. It was fucking like 9 p.m. at night. I might have gone. I probably would have been gone. You would have You would have gone if I just hit you up at 9 yeah. p.m. Yeah, I've been Liar. there for you. Liar. I've 100% um, been there for you. Recently. Honestly, Don, would you have been there? Be honest. If, even if not, it's okay. Would you have been there? I, I, I'd give it uh, 80%. Yeah. Pretty good I percentage. Would and watch the movie. It's a pretty good percentage. Yeah. Hurt my feelings. Did it hurt your feelings? Well, mm hmm. It was very funny because I went there by myself and you can order food to your thing. Um, and I thought the appetizers would be like normal appetizers that are kind of small whilst you wait for your main. So I was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, I'll just get a pretzel and some like hummus and carrots, right? Oh, is it a shit ton? They bring out these like what I would consider a meal, each appetizer a meal for three people. And then I also got like orange chicken for my main, <laughs> which they also brought out. So I look like this fucking slovenly <laughs> loner <laughs> cinema king. A Meanwhile, feast. this like Mexican family comes in who it seems like maybe their dad can't afford to like, this is like a big treat okay, for them. And right, this kid's just next that's to you, me that's with you a reaching. glass of water. He's literally has a glass of water and I've just got this fucking mountain banquet of food. <laughs> yeah, maybe he wants I just a glass so of water. so bad. Ah. Oh. I, mean, I, I really was tempted to be like, hey man, do you want like, I, this is way too much to just want this food. But then I'm offering some kids next to me food as I sit <laughs> by myself. In my motorhead basketball shorts and my fucking socks pulled up to my knees, like I don't know, dude. Imagine if you had Don there with you, though. Then it would have been it would have been a much more it would have been a lot more easy to take down that 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 entree. He would have eaten it all himself. Yeah, I, Tom doesn't well, share food. Tom doesn't share food. It grosses him out. You know, you have to fucking you have to kill what you eat. Not me, yeah. dude. I go to the store. I hunt giant pretzels and disgusting orange chicken. <clears throat> for me. Well, and then Dune Two wasn't good. It was just okay. I it's whatever. That. It's just like the same as the first one. Like, it doesn't feel like the characters really have any emotions. Um, it doesn't feel like their story has like any weight or relevance to anything. I don't know. I'm sure. It, I don't know. I've heard it's, it's whatever. very good. People say it's I a love watching two people who do not emote for the whole <laughs> film have zero chemistry. I you, do you, not believe you, you that perfect be saying... handsome twink would ever want to fuck <laughs> plain Zendaya. Okay. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the Zendaya you're talking about. Icky. Ew, gross. Well, 
Maybe you guys can see this, it. To, maybe maybe before you go, Don, you guys can see a movie. Does Fear does Furiosa come out before you leave? Nah. Uh, no, probably not. Furiosa comes out in May. Uh, that's too bad. I did want to ask you guys. I um, I would like to have a reason to draw, like something elaborate. So, if either of you, Hunter, I, I was saying before, I, I wish I could remember the commission you asked me to do, but I could not find it, and the comment section was not helpful either. Yeah, I wish I fucking. That's funny. I it. wish I could remember. But yeah, if you give me something to draw, I'll draw it. If you guys want it, just to do it, you know, to like print or whatever. I've been toying with the idea of commissioning all of my favorite artists to draw a portrait of me with the criteria it has to be as mean as they can make it. And then I could have a whole wall dedicated to myself. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> when you move back to England in an apartment as well, it'll be good. I don't even think about that. Are, so if you move back to England, do you think it's, it's going to have to be an apartment, right? Or are you going to try to get a, a house... I'm going to walk into the salty, briny ocean and fucking drown. <laughs> Either I'll I got, come I got, out I got, with I a wish you gel did. like a I, I kind of just wish that you would just find somewhere in America that you like to, that you would like to stay. Because if I feel like, honestly, the more I think about it, I was like, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I was like, God, dude, I feel like going back to England is going to suck, dude. <laughs> Like, I was thinking about that. I'm like, motherfucker's gonna have to go to like get like a fucking studio apartment after he's been living in a Texas McMansion for how long? Like, okay, Mc, McMansion is <laughs> in comparison to anywhere in England is fair, but in comparison what's uh, I guess to, that's what I mean. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like a nice it's house, a, it's a good size house. I yeah, wish, probably like 2,500 square would, feet. I would say a lot of people know that. Who, who, me. Yeah, East Coast, but, huh? I was gonna say, Tom, East Coast. Possibly. Well, the thing is, boys, I'm not moving back to England for the fucking wildlife and exciting living conditions. I know you go back to your family, sure. Just gotta, you know, get some get get a few quality Sundays in with the folks before they decide to leave this mortal plane. You know, you could literally just stay in America and just go visit them. That could be a thing you could do. Yeah, but I've done the math, like Mm. I've done the hours, like how many hours am I willing to spend with my parents before they're gone? I've done the math and there is no form of travel that makes the numbers like compare to like one day a week. Mm. I see. Yeah. You want to get one family? <sighs> it's fair. It's just sad. But Well, you know, you can I always think, move um, to England. Yeah. Well, I think, I think just for our stuff and second channel, we're, we're just going to have to travel. You know, to get the videos made. Uh, you say we. Well, no, I mean, I mean I'll, hey, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll come to England if you get a place big enough to have a green screen. You, uh, you we both know that's impossible. <laughs> this is an empty promise. I, I actually would, that would actually be sweet. If we had a business reason for me to visit you in England and it could just pay for it. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I'd do that. 100%. Why not? Because traveling is gay. Tra traveling is gay, but we're going to have to make videos together still. So We don't need to travel. We just need to have our own. I'm going to have well, one patch of my... I'm going to have three walls because I won't be able to afford four walls. And one <laughs> of them will have five square feet painted green. Uh-huh. Yeah. There, there, there will also be some version of that. I'm sure. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a drone and I'm going to go find a, f a patch of grass to, to lay on outside and the drone is going to film from above so it looks <laughs> like I'm standing up normally, like on a green yeah. screen. Perfect. That's pretty good. That's good. It's the only way I'm going to have enough real estate to, to do that. You have to be looking forward to moving back there though, a little bit, right? Absolutely not. Oh, uh, well. I'm going to go to the White Cliffs of Dover <laughs> and I'm going to fucking hurl myself off of them and try and hit the first rock I can. So there's a big, like, red crayon streak down the White Cliffs of Dover. 
You should do it with your arms full of framed, those framed pictures of mean drawings of you that you commissioned. Yeah, clumped up in your yeah. hand. Just <laughs> give, up give into every it. artist I like a fucking complex about their <laughs> role in my death. <laughs> the, uh, if you, if, if, and I know that, you know, family, all that stuff, whatever. If you had to go, uh, if you could live anywhere, where would you want to go? And you can't say, oh, fucking no, fuck, oh, fucking no. You have to tell me an actual place. 100% America. Easy. No, okay. Well, then what about, like, what state? Would you just stay in Texas? Oh, boy. There, there is no income tax here. Mm -hmm. It's true. But it is boring. It is a boring state. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think about what you I don't know. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I'd probably, I'd probably go near where Don is just so I could use his family as a surrogate family. Man. I wish it could be... I'm saying, man. Said. We, I mean, I get what you're saying, but also we literally kind of never, ever, ever see each other. We do almost live in different countries. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's but true. I think I think we've been better about it recently. You know, like you come to the office and stuff, and hung out and writing, like talking about space king and stuff. It's been nice. <clears throat> that, 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 that is very ironic, like funny. That uh, yeah. right Whoa. as soon as you guys start, you have a hit thing. That's when you guys are like, all right, let's separate. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, what can you do, hey? That's fucking life. Do you know what? Sometimes you hear the, the cliffs calling. That's the calling. The far away towns. And there I am. There I go. How How big of a place do you actually think you can get? Like I'm actually very curious about that. Yeah. I don't know, mate. You can at least get like a really nice apartment. Yeah. I, I wonder if uh, you can rent studio space or something. These like, know. these, so I don't know. We probably, we probably live in houses that cost like here. So we, we rent, we probably live in houses here that cost like fucking, I don't know, 400 grand, 300, 400. Right, four hundred. Mm -hmm. Four hundred. These houses in the UK would be millions, like fucking like one point five million. Yeah. So like, <sighs> like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, what can you do? Maybe it'll be Maybe possible it'll to like hoodies, rent, baby. like rent an additional like studio apartment or something for the green screen, like in the same building uh -oh, or something. Business expense. Mm -hmm. That's where I can do all my grisly murders. Yeah. <laughs> Can put some plastic down and find some local prostitutes and fucking dice them up. Why does it feel like it feels like this episode is taking like a very depressing turn? <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, I've been just like fiddling around on like on this deal. It, it, it honestly feels like this is like very sad. <laughs> we, we were having a good time. What were we talking about? We we're talking about like who Ron dared Perlman ask me about Dune Two. Yeah. Who put me in a bad mood? <laughs> that was the, that, that was the, that was the, uh, you, that was you, the... you did that to yourself. You didn't invite me. Then I'm calling you out. Well, you don't That's fucking get happens. to be part of and every you, inch of my you're life. You're about how we never see each other, and you don't, and you don't invite me to go see Dennis Villain of Pew's Dune Two with you. Well, if anything, I saved you a bad time. You said it was an okay time. I would have. I, I, I think an okay. I would have taken fine. an okay time. Yeah. If I could go back and do it differently, Don, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't. We I should, don't uh, we should that. probably plan some kind of trip though before Tom leaves, where we can all be together. I would assume, <laughs> like, meet in some place or something like that. Even if it's like, Tom, you're flying out of New York. I'll fly to New York or something. I don't know where the fuck you are. You're just going to fly <laughs> just out of catch, Dallas. Just catch me in the airport lounge. No, or just be like, we could plan if you're like, oh, you got to fly to JK, JFK. We could all hang out in New York for a couple days or something. I don't fucking know. Why? I don't know. Why don't? don't? This is a good idea. Why don't? I'm not going you? to Austin. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not going to Austin. Okay, so, well, first off, it's only a two hour flight away. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going to That was not what I was just. Why don't I, you I'm not going fly to, to England with me? You can see me off properly, and we can have a nice little trip into England. I was going to selfishly ask if I could visit you whenever you're settled. That would oh, actually right. be you sweet. Deal with. Yeah, 
well, you you talked about wanting to go to England anyways. That'd be yeah. Sweet. I mean, I I wanted to go. Stuff. I I think it'd be fine to go, but I I, I would want to go whenever you're like, hey, this is my place. Blah blah. blah. I don't want to go there and they're like, ah, we're in between places or what? You know what I mean? Like. I won't be in between anything. I'd be, uh, you know, we could just oh, you're, treat you're, it like any other vacation. Do you have hotels. a? Do you have a spot already picked out? Yes, it's called the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Are you gonna crash the plane, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> you know, crash it? You know what? Honestly, what 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 time? I mean, we, we can bleep this or whatever. What day? What 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 time do you think you're actually gonna fly out? Like what? what actually, no, what time? I, I have no idea. You kind of make it sound like you're staying the rest of the year it seems like or okay i definitely summer, never right? even sort of insinuated or said anything yeah, you said you said you said at least through the summer right i don't think so no i, th I thought that he was going to fly up pretty soon that's what i was wondering because i ironically if i can make sure my passport is still valid and stuff i would i would fly with you to england to see you off oh that would make me less sad that would make me horribly sad oh why? Because the whole thing about it is like, if I go there and you're settled, I'm like, oh, he's, you know, <laughs> he's <whatever."> okay. <laughs> We're just going to be like literally crying for like <laughs> the entire time. Being like, you're going to be here and I'm going to be like, this place smells like piss and it's small. <laughs> and, you're like, yeah. and I'm like, all right, we'll see you, dude. And I'm going to leave. And then going back to the land of opportunity and plenty. <laughs> yeah, I'm like going back to my farm and stuff. And I'm like, you're here you are in between two fucking cobblestone bricks. It's, it's not bad. It's not <laughs> bad. It's not bad. It's pretty good. There's room to expand. Well, I just got to get permission from the local council to add a third cobblestone. <laughs> the local council. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun. Um, oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know. We can see. Because at least at some point, too, I was going to have the awkward conversation about, like, Don, you haven't invited me out to your place. Can I come see it? I was going to have to have that awkward conversation soon, but so that, that's, that's going to be a never much... never been invited to your house. That's going to be... Because I know you guys won't... I haven't... I honestly have not invited I you. Came. I would have came. I have not invited you because ah, I know so that you guys now. would not go. <laughs> Now you see my okay. position. <laughs> oh shit! Now that is, that, the, is, now that is an actual that to. is an actual full circle moment. Holy shit! This is a, this is this. I'm on the other side of the night the night v uh, samurai argument here, and I, it feels bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now you see. <laughs> to be fair, though, flying and visiting someone is different than going to a movie. I'll at least say that it is, mm -hmm. but also the specialness of the occasion warrants the same amount of effort. <laughs> Much easier to turn down an invite to the cinema than to turn down an invite to your new place. You know what? I'm not even going to argue with you. I agree. And I'm saying it is almost the perfect equivalency. <clears throat> you guys should come to my house when I have my house. You already have sweet. your house. Well, once I've moved in, yeah. Well, boys tub night. Boy soup. You know? Do you have a tub? I've got it, yeah. Got a tub on my Ooh, deck. Dude, I, I like tell that. you, whenever whenever I get into a tub, it just gives me a terrible rash just above my ass. Wow. Really? Well, I, I enjoyed Some, all the tub nights I've been to. Something to do with the chlorine to. or something, I don't know. All the tub when nights you I've had, ever been to, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, when you had your hot tub, you were just rashing it up with us every time? Uh, yeah, afterwards, I'd be like, oh, fuck, that's not fun. I didn't know that. I didn't know about that until right now. Well, you've been, why have you been hiding this tub tub information, dude? <laughs> I, for, I honestly, like, I would forget <clears throat> about it every time until after I, I was done. I'd be like, why is my fucking, why is right above my ass itching? Oh, it's the fucking tub rash. And do you know what it might have been? No, it yeah, may have been me trying to press my asshole to the <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> to the jet. Yeah, to the jet. jet. And, yeah. and it just I ping, don't ping. blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. That may be where the rash comes from. Oh, for, absolutely. In which case, I will not apologize. And I will be doing it again at Don's Tub. Sweet. I am going to I... try and grind the jet stream surreptitiously during boy soup. Well, oh, if, if, if you don't I ever, if you don't happens. invite me out to England, Tom, I do plan on, I was planning on going to Japan for me and Allison's birthday this year. So maybe we can stop in England and I'll just, <laughs> on and, the I'll, way. and I'll just, I'll just fucking run. It's kind of, oh, I guess it's not. Fuck. It's the, fuck. Never mind. No, never mind. 
<laughs> I keep forgetting that I had to fly yeah, across all, all of Europe. <laughs> I, I had to fly across <laughs> all of Europe. To go. <laughs> cross that Russia. doesn't make a lot of sense. All right, yeah. never mind. Well, you have an invite. You have an invite to my... You're going to get there and my, my hairline will have receded to the back of my skull. <laughs> Hello, Roger. <laughs> Allison, get on the plane. We're leaving. We're leaving. Get on the get on the plane. We're leaving. Okay, hold on. She's not coming. No. Oh. Well, I thought you were talking about my Japan trip. I'm sorry. No, no, no. This is this is uh, another time. Okay. All right. Well, uh, you know, I, I'm excited either way. I am. Uh, uh, I'm. I am struggling to keep it the seven minutes because I am going to piss myself. So I'm actually going to piss really quick and come back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. That was remarkably quick. I, I took a PP very fast. Just power washed your porcelain bowl. I did. Very quickly. Good. Good. Do you... I'm sure we've been over this. I'm sorry. But, uh... Do you just have... What what happened with your testicle? You still have two balls? Yeah. Yeah, just one of them's dead, dead and pushes out black cream cheese. It's my favorite. Yep. That's right. Okay. That would have been sweet <laughs> if they had to take it out and they just gave you like a prosthetic porcelain ball. I would have loved to What's just have a one? mason jar of my dead testicle. Would you fill the would, would you let the testicle color the water or would you put like some green food coloring in to make it look fun? I think that it would just turn green naturally. <laughs> Is what I would think. It's gonna really suck when all of when it like you know enough uh, microbes have built up that you can no longer see the testicle and you have to fucking empty it and like clean the mason jar and put the testicle back in. It's gonna be a real project. Mm. You know, you know what's kind of fucked is that this. I, I don't know why I was thinking about this when I was telling you, piss. This feels like the last episode of Cream Crew, doesn't it? <laughs> no. Don't say that. This, 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 no, this, I get what you're saying. Does but it not no. have like? Does it not have like a a remnant of like this is our final episode? Yeah, I get what you're saying. It, it I'm was, telling you, the tr the the turning point was talking about Zendaya. I the, I I, I, no, 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 no. The the, the turning point was you because you did not invite Don to the movie. That that's the turning point. Yeah. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. Tomato, I mean, tomato. God. I, I say <laughs> we do this. I say we do this. Just as a thought experiment. Just as a thought experiment. Let's ask the audience, is this the last episode of Cream Crew? <laughs> Let's ask him. Let's ask. We just started making shorts. I know. You're actually going to you're going to give the viewers like the listeners PTSD. No, no, just, just tell them you're joking no, 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 right no, no, just, now. No, no, just ask, just ask him, is this the last don't, episode? Yes or no? Don't don't do this, dude. I don't want I I'm doing it right now. You're being you're being emotionally abusive <laughs> being, to your friends. I'm, I'm fucking crazy. To your fans. <laughs> I, I got a little bit of a buzz going. I'm kind of a little bit drunk. I'm not gonna lie, and I, I, I'll tell you, I, inhibition I, I need is to know. gone instantly. End cream crew. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I'm not. Listen, I did not advocate for it. Okay, I'm saying ask the ask the viewers, dude, because at the end of the day, they are the people who control this podcast. All right, so you have to ask them, because if anything, guys, guys, listen, I don't want. To, I'm, I'm gonna cover my face so they can't see this. Well, I'm trying to get them to. To, to boost us up, so then 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 they like they're like, hey, you guys, your friendship means everything to us. You know what I mean? And then we'll be set. Oh yeah, all the thumbs downs are gonna push us in the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I thought it was I thought it was a fun thing to to boost morale. <laughs> Until you see all the comments, are like, usually, dude, I would have said no, but I think it's I think it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that'd actually be good to know, though. I'd like I'd like to know if that's where people's head spaces were at. I'd be like, okay, well, you know, it was a good run. That would actually be this would have been the perfect way to end Creep Crew. Is Tom Tom moving? Oh, that's the per that could be the, the even the last episode title. Tom's moving. Stop. What? <laughs> you're giving me and the viewers a panic attack. You are. You're gone. You're moving, never to return. I've you will I never. Still, will have a microphone. When she, when, when have, you, when you literally leave this country, you will never come back. That is quite accurate. I'm, I'm. It is. I'm 100 percent positive. I'm like, that's what makes me so upset. Is I'm gonna, I'd like, there's gonna be something cool and be like, hey man, this is 
going on, whatever. And I just know you'll never come back to this country. You'll never come back. You'll never I step foot on American soil. To, I will not pretend that everything you say is not the absolute objective truth. I know. That's why I'm just, it's, it's sad. I'm like, this is literally the last time I'm going to see you ever. Well, we're already in a different country, basically. Yeah. Well, you know, well, you know, you have the plane ride. It's quite yeah. a lot. It's a long time. I will, I will do a, a farewell tour for sure. And you guys are going to accompany me to the fair land of England. That would actually be sweet to do. But what, when are you, when, when is your farewell tour? What is the I don't know. Place? Huh? I don't fucking know. You don't know? No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because now, in two weeks, I'm going to move away from Texas, and Tom's going to be the last one in Texas, and that makes me really sad. <sighs> this was Cream Crew. <laughs> what an episode. Well, guys, you get to decide if this podcast lives or dies. Uh, Stop it. I, Fuck you. And, and I hate Fuck say, you, Dad. Hey, I hate you saying can't. that, guys. I hate Go saying this because... Because here's the thing: Go to bed. is I listen to all the, I listen, I read all the comments, and they they hurt they hurt my feelings a lot of times. But I will say that you know some positivity here in the comments would would do us a lot of good because once we get off this recording, we're not going to talk about any of the things that we talked about in this podcast until next time we record. <laughs> so that's 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 the mental turmoil that I'm living in. So we'll see, we will see. But all right, until <laughs> next time. <laughs> 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 until, until next time have a creamy uh, rest of your day and don't yeah. forget to sign up to patreon.com <laughs> forward slash <laughs> <laughs> hey this this fucking show isn't ending I don't care what what the comments say and what Hunter okay, says. Okay, well, hey, I just want to we I just want to say that uh, I care about what the comments say. I care about what the comments say. Cream Crew Premium number forty one comes out this week. That's that's forty one episodes in the backlog on the Patreon. Uh, this week we all sat around and drew offensive Aladdin characters. It was a nice time. It was. And offensive. if you're a real fan, we'll see you there. Thank you very much. Do 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 do.